Assume a car is rolling backward down a hill while hitting the gas. At the bottom of the hill, the car comes to rest, and after 10 more seconds, the car is traveling at 10 meters per second. We want to assume the clock starts at the bottom of the hill, and assume that the acceleration of the car is constant throughout the entire motion. All right, so I'm just going to graph what is happening in this situation. I'll make a whole stack of motion graphs. So we have position versus time. We have velocity versus time. And then we have acceleration versus time. All right, so car is rolling backward while hitting the gas, but at the bottom of the hill, the thing comes to rest. So I'm going to let the origin here be the bottom of the hill. And up here would be the top of the hill. So we're going to start from the bottom. x equals 0. That's where t is 0. So we're starting the clock. Now the person does accelerate up the hill. So the type of curve we want is a parabolic graph. All right, now they say that it's at rest at the bottom of the hill. So to show that on the velocity graph, we want the v to equal 0 at t equals 0. But when we're accelerating up a hill, we're going to want that velocity to steadily change. And then the acceleration is the slope of the velocity, so that should be just constant and positive. So next we just have to apply some mathematics to it. They say after 10 seconds, it's going 10 meters per second. So we can write that in in our velocity graph. So t equals 10. We have v equals 10 now. What is a formula for the displacement of the object in terms of time t? the displacement for a situation involving acceleration would be one half at squared plus vit yeah so we need we need ax and vix all right so this is the initial velocity And this is the acceleration. Um, okay, so the formula that you'd use is A equals delta V over delta T. So you would get 10 meters per second minus 0 over 10 seconds minus 0, 1 meter per second squared. Yeah, so I agree on the acceleration. And then your VIX is going to be 0 because it starts from rest. So let's plug those in. You should get delta X equals 1 half 1 meter per second squared times T squared plus 0 times T. Delta X will be, yeah, it should be 1 half T squared. What is the formula for the position? of the object in terms of time t. Right, so position has a little bit different formula from displacement. In position formulas, we have an initial position term. The xi is going to be 0 because that's where we started. So yeah, you'd have 1 half 1 t squared plus 0t zero plus 0. 
so x is one half t squared again, yes.